Measuring abduction of the carpometacarpal joint of the thumb. Patient is seated with the forearm and hand resting on the table, ideally in a neutral position to allow measurement. Checking passive range of motion. All right, measuring active range of motion. I'm gonna line my fulcrum up with the lateral aspect of the scaphoid for the radial styloid process. I'm gonna line my stationary arm up with the lateral midline of the second metacarpal. And I'm gonna line my moving arm up with the dorsal midline of the first metacarpal. Go ahead and add that. And that is abduction of the carpometacarpal joint of the thumb.